beginning, without end, with no point of weakness. The circle is a reminder of the eternal quality of God and of unending strength. So let the seamless circle of your rings become the symbol of your endless love. Your wedding rings are most special because they say that even in your uniqueness, uniqueness you've chosen to be bonded, to allow the presence of another human being to enhance who you are. And your rings carry a potent double message we are individuals, and yet we belong. We are not alone. So as you wear them through time, they'll reflect not only who you are, but also the glorious union that you are now creating. So I say, God, bless these rings and the two who exchange them. Fill them with your holy presence and keep themselves in the circle of your protection of love. So the boss of the family will go first. So, oh, no. <laughs> Jennifer, as you place this ring, I'm Ken Spinger, I now ask you, if you take this man to be your lawful wedded husband, you promise God, Ken, and all of us here, that from this point forward, your arms may be his shelter and your heart may be his guide. You promise to support him and nourish him, to love, respect, and honor him for the rest of your days on earth, and if so, please now answer. Ken, as you place this ring on Jennifer's finger, I now ask you, do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? Do you promise God, Jennifer, and all of us here that from this point forward, your arms may be her shelter and your heart may be her guide? Do you promise to support her and nourish her, to love, respect, and honor her for the rest of your days on earth? And if so, please now answer, I do. vows together, as I uh, state them. From this day on, I choose you to be my beloved soulmate, to live with you and laugh with you, to stand by your side and sleep in your arms, to be joy to my heart and soul, to bring out the best in you always, best I can be just for you, to celebrate with you in the good times, to persevere with you in the bad, to comfort you, to care for you with my entire being, to share with you everything that I have, as we treat each other. Jennifer's mother, Alexandra, to come up and share with us the beautiful reading of St. Paul's first letter.
May the Lord bless you and keep you. May God cause his confidence, his countenance to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his face to you and grant you peace now and forevermore. And together we say amen. Amen. So Jennifer and Ken, in the presence of God, your family and friends today, you've spoken the words and performed the rites which unite your lives. Now there, by virtue of the power and authority vested in me by the laws of the state of New Jersey, it gives me great pleasure to pronounce your husband and wife. Kenneth, you may kiss your beautiful bride. Mr. and Mrs. Kenneth and Jennifer D'Amato.